Fly Drone, a Russian developer of digital services for drone flights, deployed an anti-drone system with a laser at a fuel and energy sector plant, CEO Nikita Danilov told TASS. Laser systems are capable of automatic detection, tracking, identification and engagement of drones, the chief executive said. Small sizes of modern laser systems make it possible to use them in a stationary or a mobile build. Our company directly took part in trials of one of such systems in late 2024. Results proved to be successful. We plan to include into our Rubicon anti-drone system already deployed at one of Russian fuel and energy facilities, Danilov noted. Protection of critical infrastructure and industrial facilities against drone attacks requires the use of different technologies anticipating neutralization and physical destruction of drones, he said. Lasers provide for high accuracy of target engagement irrespective of structural materials of a drone. Earlier, a top Kremlin official recently said that Russia has deployed an advanced laser weapons system in combat in Ukraine. In a conference aired on the state media channel 1 on Wednesday, Yuri Borisov, Russia's deputy prime minister, said the country's state-of-the-art laser weapon, called Zadira, is being used to shoot down Ukrainian drones. Zadira could be part of an intercontinental ballistic missile system, which includes a laser component called Peresvet, Reuters news agency wrote on Wednesday. Borisov said that Peresvet was already being widely deployed and could also blind satellites up to 1,500 kilometers, 930 miles, above Earth. If Peresvet blinds, then the new generation of laser weapons lead to the physical destruction of the target. They burn it up, Borsov said, according to Reuters. But military experts have expressed doubts about whether Russia's claims are substantiated. A laser weapon generates a beam of concentrated light that can heat up and burn down an object. A high-energy laser can burn a hole in a thick steel plate within seconds. The rays travel at the speed of light, have a much broader range than regular projectiles, and can hit their target with utmost precision. Such weapons can also work discreetly, as sending out light rays does not generate loud noises. Most importantly, they are very cost-effective, since no ammunition, apart from energy, is needed to shoot a beam. TNO, a Dutch research organization working on laser weapon technology says that every shot of the system they are developing costs less than a euro about one U.S. dollar. All these factors have made laser weapons into attractive projects for militaries around the world. Last summer, the U.S. Army announced that it had tested an advanced laser weapon in a maneuver. In April, Israeli Prime Minister Naftali Bennett wrote on Twitter that his country's armed forces had successfully tested the world's first laser weapon system that could be used to shoot down drones, rockets, and mortars. Many other countries, including France, the UK, and China have been reported to be working on their own laser weapon projects. Several countries are exploring the technology and use of these kinds of weapons. Russia could likely be one of those countries, Martin Lortzer, TNO's spokesperson, told DW. Because of the confidentiality of these kinds of projects, we have however no knowledge of the status. We don't have any indication of the use of lasers, at least weaponized lasers, in Ukraine. Nothing to confirm on that, Pentagon spokesman John Kirby told a news briefing on Friday. But laser weapons, if they are usable, could help Moscow against one of its main menaces in Ukraine, drones. At Wednesday's conference, 
Borisov claimed that Zadira had already shot down a Ukrainian drone in five seconds at a distance of five kilometers. Russia says it could also use its weapon to dazzle satellites and military cameras and detectors. Lasers are also capable of permanently blinding soldiers, a function prohibited under a 1995 international convention that bans arms causing excessive and indiscriminate damages or injury. Earlier, teams of the Russian Defense Ministry's new Rubicon Center of Advanced Unmanned Technologies are operating in the Donetsk, Belgorod and Kursk directions of the Special Military Operation. Russia's Defense Minister Andrei Belisov inspected the work of the new center and held a meeting on developing unmanned technologies in the Russian Armed Forces on October 11, the ministry specified. Andrei Belisov listened to a report on the work of the center's teams in the area of the special military operation, in particular, in the Donetsk, Belgorod and Kursk directions. The center's teams have destroyed more than 400 items of armament and equipment of the Ukrainian army and wiped out about 800 side targets, the ministry said in a statement. UAV teams outfitted with control devices with artificial intelligence elements carry out combat operations round the clock. The targets uncovered by reconnaissance drones are promptly transmitted to control posts for using attack UAVs, it said. The center's combat units are staffed with engineers, technicians, communications and logistics support specialists, military medics, reconnaissance and analytical groups to accomplish combat objectives highly efficiently, it specified. The defense minister viewed the work of the center's operators at an UAV control post. He also inspected an analytical group assigned with generalizing information on the use of systems and capabilities, analyzing statistics on reported video materials and elaborating proposals on increasing the efficiency of applying technology. The combat experience gained is used to train operators of unmanned aerial vehicles and other robotic systems, the ministry said. <laughs>